Hope you're doing good. Micah back with another video. Back here to talk about Mac OS Sequoia Public Beta 2 or Mac OS 15 Public Beta 2 for short. And this update seems like it has kind of affected or resolved a lot of issues with the first beta and actually included a new feature or two with the iPhone mirroring capabilities that we now have with our MacBooks. And so that, I think that's the first thing we're going to talk about today. And what I'm going to do is put an overview up since I'm using my iPhone for recording. There's a couple of things that you will see here with iPhone mirroring. The first is the fact that now you can actually resize your window. So by following these steps here, going to view, you scroll down into the resize, you can actually make it larger. And that makes life a whole lot easier operating your iPhone on your MacBook display. So I definitely find that to be an added bonus. I don't know why that's not under the window tab as opposed to the view tab, but I'm not gonna complain. We finally have that here with iPhone mirroring. And the second more or less fix as opposed to an issue is the fact that now you should be able to use your Logitech mouse or a mouse with a scroll, a scroll reel to be able to access and actually navigate on your iPhone during iPhone mirroring. So shout out to Apple for adding those two uh, or resolving those two situations and thus continuing to refine the iPhone mirroring experience for us all to enjoy. Now, the next thing that they did was actually uh, a feature within privacy and security. So if we go here to settings, scroll down into privacy and security, we will see an, uh, an option here called automation. And this allows the application below to control other apps. This will provide access to documents and data in those applications and to perform actions with them. So there was actually an, a fix when it came to this uh, new feature for uh, Mac OS Sequoia, and they have resolved that issue of the allow, don't allow pop-up display to no longer pop up or, or it now functions as intended. So it's good to see that there as well. The next feature we have is Time Machine. So if we go ahead and look it up, Time Machine also had a fix. And Time Machine's fix is that now you can back up appropriately with Time Machine. This was kind of broken or bugged out due to the beta, but they have now resolved that issue. And that is really, really good to see. Now, if we go ahead and bring up FaceTime, just to talk about uh, the presenter, real quick I'm not gonna present anything but you guys can see me what's going on what was fixed with this now is the fact that there was a glitch when it came to overlaying when sharing a dis uh, your, your display a single window if you tried to react it would glitch out they've also addressed that issue here with presenter so it's good to see that that was also addressed with Mac OS beta 2 the next thing we'll see is with Finder and within Finder, now you can uh, videos or home, uh, basically Finder would sync home videos as music videos on the 7th gen iPad Nano. So if you have videos in here somewhere, they would sync them with the iPad Nano as music videos or home videos. That has now been fixed. So that way you should have no issues if you're still using an iPod Nano that should be resolved. Let me know down in the comment section below who is still actually using an iPod Nano. That's that, that one, I would like to know that. Now, our iCloud has some interesting adjustments here. If we jump into iCloud, the iCloud drive frequent syncing has been fixed. So that's good to see that we shouldn't have any issues syncing our content with our iCloud drive. And iCloud now has their own page within the settings. So instead of having to go into your Apple account, up above you now have its own now iCloud has its own separate page to access iCloud a lot easier they didn't change anything in terms of the aesthetic of it but it is here and available to use as its separate page so good to see that when it comes to Mac OS 15 beta 2 a couple other situations when it comes to the iPhone mirroring that I forgot to address is the fact that the universal clipboard may not work all the time so if you you know, try to you know copy from your iPhone and then want to paste from you know onto your MacBook. I haven't had any issues so far. Thank thankfully, this has been working as intended. Uh, and as you guys can see here, the iPhone is much larger now because I've already changed the pane for it. But I haven't had any issues with the universal clipboard. But there is a known issue for that, so just keep that in mind when trying to copy and paste between your Apple devices. 
with iPhone mirroring and the space bar may not work when full keyboard access is enabled so to so disable that if you don't want problems for now that's another known issue and then if you run out of sync betas so in other words if you're running a beta 3 on iPhone and beta 4 on Mac this will break the iPhone notifications and may time out your iPhone mirroring connection as a whole so if you want to uh, the best course of action there is to make sure you're running the most up-to-date versions of the betas for both devices so you don't run into that issue and in terms of that space bar issue go ahead and disable the full keyboard for now if uh, if that is posing problems for you so I did want to highlight there highlight that for you guys there the next thing is Apple music so if you come into music and we open that music has fixed an artwork bug where it may not properly or correctly display the current songs album work so let's say you're listening to uh, oof, uh, Justin Timberlake but it's showing you know oof, Kendrick Lamar right and it's not the right track and they have now fixed that so that way you shouldn't have that problem when it comes to your Apple music and that is pretty much the only thing there I will say that they've also enlarged the CarPlay uh, logo for Apple Music. So although that's more of an iPhone thing, just letting you guys know from uh, in this macOS video, and I'll probably do a follow up with the uh, with the uh, iOS 18 beta 4 that the album artwork is bigger in CarPlay, and yes, they did add the new wallpaper. So it's good to see all that happening with CarPlay and Apple Music. There's another known issue with the calendar. So if you come in calendar. If you come in the calendar, there's a known snooze notifications bug. So if you try to snooze alarms within the calendar, it may bug out. So that's a known issue. Hopefully this will be addressed in the next beta, which would be public beta 3. Hopefully that will be addressed there. If we come into photos, let's look that up. Come into photos. In photos, it might stop syncing via the iCloud photo library. That bug has been fixed. So now you should be able to properly be able to upload and download or sync your iCloud photo libraries with no problem with this public beta 2 from macOS Sequoia so good to see that they're doing that there also when it comes to the macOS and Intel based MacBooks there was a battery drain issue with the macOS beta wallpaper so to show you guys what that looks like if we come in here and we come on over here to wallpaper up here at the top this right here the main sequoia wallpaper this mac os beta wallpaper is draining the battery on or was draining the battery on intel based macbooks with the amd gpu this has been resolved as well so it's good to see that that has been resolved here for our macbooks regardless of which model that you are using screen time had had a bug that was fixed and so this bug is uh with the Apple Watch. When you upgrade to WatchOS 11 from an earlier beta, screen time limits might be deleted for both the parent and the child. This has too been fixed, so you shouldn't have those issues anymore, you parents out there. Making sure you keep track of the time your kids spend using their Apple devices. So good on Apple to fix that. And then translation was also addressed with this update. So let me bring that up. If where is it? Translation language. It's not necessarily what I want it, but I can go there and bring it up. So as you guys can see, there's a bunch of languages here, right? Well, users can now translate text and display results in app. And there's new a new supported language, which is Hindi. And this is supported in the app, system-wide, Safari translation, and new translation APIs. So good to see that these are all uh, added and or fixed with this update and of course if you want to download the languages please do so so that we don't have any issues there now voiceover fix the setup assistant so it can be completed so if you don't know where voiceover is if you come in here and it should be an accessibility if I come in an accessibility voiceover this setup assistant is now fixed so before beta 2 it was you couldn't complete the setup assistant but now you can so have added to your heart's content playing with voiceover and then the wallet 
has fixed disbursement issues or requests between the Mac and an Apple Watch, as well as fixed the request to be normal and not regular payments when handed off to iPhones. So those are the bug fixes and improvements that we've got to see here with macOS Sequoia Beta 2 or macOS 15 Beta 2. That's about as much as I've been able to see so far. I took this off the charger earlier today around like 8.30 in the morning and it's 3.30 and I haven't been on my laptop. I just, I'm just not getting back home actually to do this video. So I'm at 98%. So I've only lost 2% in, what's that, uh, seven hours or so, six hours? six or seven hours somewhere in there so it's not bad so far now i'm using it and now that i will and this is and i'm pretty pretty sure i lost those two percent just doing the screen recording so it's good to see that battery life is most likely improved uh between beta one and beta two i could definitely say beta one's battery improved so i have faith that after downloading this yesterday to record this video today the battery life should be improving and should be settling in with all of the system apps and all that type of stuff in the background keep in mind it is a beta keep in mind the fact that there's a lot of unfinished systems that are in the works in the background or incomplete systems which is what will cause battery drain or bugs and glitches so you know just be aware of that when you're going to jump into the beta and that's pretty much all i've been experiencing here with mac os 15 beta 2 so far and i'm glad it's been working i haven't had any issues in terms of having to do work or just do my normal perusing and whatnot it's nice to see that this stays consistent being able to sync your apple apps across devices so if i'm using notes on one app i can pull it up and pull that same note up on the mac and vice versa as well as a safari page this then the third maybe even an email so it's good to see that those systems are still working with mac os sequoia beta 2 let me know down in the comment section below what you guys are using what you guys are up to i will say that the notifications also work pretty well when you get them from the iphone and as you guys can see there's a little small symbol right here to showcase that these are your iphone notifications so i do like that and then when you clear they should all disappear but i don't know at the same time so you know that's also nice and hopefully that gets worked out as well as these betas continue to roll through let me know if you're actually running a beta or if you're interested in running a beta what's your favorite mac feature so far the comment section is open for discussion but again as always if you guys haven't already make sure to like the like button subscribe channel the notification bell so i'll for videos so you're not going to see that was cracking and don't forget to hit that super thanks button down there by the like and dislike button cash app and paypal and check the channel out for all the videos available to you that's a way to keep tech fresh and alive on this channel it's your man michael signing out to the next video Wait, oh.